ask you to make your way back to your seats, please. assist me please and uh, due to um, one of the members family needing to go to work at a certain time could I call on Tom Fallon to come forward please to receive an award for 60 years of service Face it around, face it this way. I'll turn this around. I'll turn that around, that's right. <laughs> One more. Yeah. Also to go with that is a star to go on your oh, and you've already got a blue badge, so oh, it's yeah. fine. You've got the blue badge, right, okay. All right, Tom. Come this side, come this side. I get a speech opportunity. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Right. That's, that's right. I just want to say thank you very much for the award. It took me 60 years to get it, but it takes me back to dear Lee, who's not paying attention, but that's OK. <laughs> uh, the Saturday morning, Collins Court, Kennington, this bloke turns up and he, he talks to me in a bit of a a mysterious way about this organisation and would I like to join it and of course I didn't know anything about it but the only thing I knew was that it was Len that was asking me and knowing what a beautiful fine fellow he, he was and is uh, what could I do I, I accepted so thanks Len. <laughs> Can you remember anything about your initiation ceremony? Uh, I can remember a bit. I remember uh, it was at St Gideon's Hall, I think we went upstairs, I think, and uh, blindfolded. The room was darkened. It was Well, the room was dark, except there's a skull uh, when, when they took the blindfold off a dark room, and there's a skull with light shining out through the mouth and the eyes. <laughs> So, uh, uh, that, that was the first introduction to the Knights of the Southern Cross. So I swore allegiance and whatever, I don't know. What did I promise, Link? Can you remember? I hope I kept those promises. I think I did. You said you'd be a good boy. Oh, <laughs> oh that, that was a bit, of a bit of a mistake, but that was, that was good. They were great days, still are great days. And highlights? Well, some highlights. You mentioned the Geona Centre before, and the raffle we won for that. We went and we run for that. Uh, why I say that's a highlight is because it's such a wonderful organisation. It not only helps uh, both married and unmarried women and, and dear little children, but it helps families across a whole spectrum of activities now. Helps them where they need, when they need support, when they need a hand up, need some help, so that's great. Uh, other highlights, uh, another one, this one might seem a bit strange, but I did have the privilege, because I was a knight, uh, to carry the coffin on two occasions for the uh, two dear poor Claire sisters that, that, that died. And, and we owe a lot to them. I'm sure that their prayers for the Bendigo district, as well as for many other things, have boded well 
in ways we don't know about over the years. So, you know, they're always there for people who who wanted to pop in and talk and that, even though they're closed door. But uh, it's a great loss to us that that community. But that was a highlight. Uh, what other ones? That's oh, awesome. no, I think, I think you've That's just done. about covered it all, Tom. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. While we're on, uh, 60 years of service, Michael Darren. done this for Tom but uh, I'll just read out what the certificate says and it says the State Council of Victoria gratefully acknowledges your loyal support and congratulates you on observing the obligations placed upon you at the time of your admission by reason of the authority conferred upon me by the State Council of Victoria it's my privilege and honour to invest you with this certificate of appreciation in recognition of your 60 years of membership. We pray that God will bless and keep you close all the rest of your days. Congratulations. Thanks. Now he's got a, a blue lapel pin and a star for his uh, membership ribbon. Very good at public speaking, Michael. But, uh, um, yeah, every ten years I do it, particularly when I get a medal. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. Um, boy, from my uh, where I was brought up in Swan Hill, when I was reading a profile of Michael's, and, and it told me that he joined the Knights in Swan Hill. That's correct. Yeah. yeah probably in the classroom that I was taught in during the day and at night time it was turned into the Knights, the knights took yeah. over the building. Right. Yeah. Okay, can you tell us about that initiation ceremony? Yeah, well, Tom, I think I can uh, recall parts of it, uh, some interesting bits. My father was a member of the Knights of the Southern Cross. I didn't know what the hell that was, never heard of it. But, uh, uh, he came to me one day and he said, uh, Oh, Laurie Fraser's coming to pick you up to take you to a meeting next Saturday night, so I want you to get tidy and make, make sure you're right to go. Ah, oh, okay, so that was it. End of story. So, anyway, Laurie duly came along and we finished up in the drill hall at Swan Hill. People there from uh, all the surrounding districts at that time, Sea Lake, Kulgawa. Swan Hill were in a district. Uh, representatives from Robinvale, Ogan, uh, Kerrang, etc. Et so there's probably in excess of 200 uh, fellows there and uh, 20, I think it's 26 uh, chaps like myself, uh, including my cousin, went through. That was on the 28th of uh, October 1961. Uh, yeah, it was a bit spooky, as uh, Tom said a minute ago, uh, for a little while, but uh, when I looked around the uh, room after the lights did eventually come on, I could see that uh, there's a lot of uh, all these good Catholic gentlemen around there, so I thought, oh, okay, this is not too bad anyway, so, okay, that we got from uh, minus to a plus, so I thought that was okay, and away we went from there. Uh, we were also uh, the, uh, uh, part of the company on the information provided to us about the secret type of handshake that was required to uh, make yourself known to, an, uh, to a uh, person you're shaking hands with, uh, what the password was when you wanted to enter into the room or building where the meeting was being held. I think they're just about past tense now, I understand. So we've moved on 
you know, quite an amount of time to spend. So that was the main things anyway, really. And uh, yeah, fun road ship with all the people uh, from that night onwards. Okay, so highlights of your time in the order? Yeah, probably one of the highlights was uh, being one of the people who went down to the Tim Burn area in 1983 after the eight, no, 19, well, 82 uh, bushfires. We uh, went down there for the weekend. Uh, a lot of, uh, there's probably a bus, big bus, a little bus with uh, and I think some uh, private vehicles went down, a lot of uh, personnel from Bendigo area, well, well uh, represented and uh, we had a good time, a good time working and probably an equally good time going to the evening mass and uh, having a get together with all the local folks and, uh, and uh, Helpers from other KFC clubs to all congregated there on that particular weekend. Oh, After 60 years in the nights, what has it given you? I guess over that period of time, it would be fair to say that uh, the, it would be correct to say that uh, I'm dealing with fair dinkum people. There's a lot of people around who. I have uh, ex very significant uh, positions in this world, but they're not to bad income. Look at the Melbourne City Council, for instance. <laughs> for one, you know, all the others who are self-patting themselves on the back and going for themselves and uh, nobody else, and not even the uh, organisation they were reputed to be uh, representing. So I don't like that. I think that it's uh, everybody who's uh, in the KSC are there for one particular reason and that is to uh, go right through the order uh, Object. objects that we need, <coughs> like objects here yeah. and, uh, and that's it. That's where we sit. Okay, thanks Michael. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Right here in the front. Yeah, well done. Mm -hmm. Take a photo of us. Photo. Right. Oh, yeah. Ready? And. Thank you, mate. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we move on to 50 years service. Start off with a, a gentleman, or a couple of gentlemen from out of town. First gentleman, association with the Knights goes back 50 years. He joined at the Melton KSC sub ranch on the 20th of December 1971. The initiation took place at Bacchus Marsh at that time, and hopefully he can tell us about it today. Then he spent 40 years in Sydney at Winston Hills, where he was the chairman of the Hills branch of the KSC for 25 years. The Parramatta Diocesan Chairman for a number of years. He served on the board of Southern Cross Care, New South Wales and ACT for a total of 23 years, primarily on the Finance Committee. Plus additional roles with the parish of Winston Hills and Parramatta Dices. In the meantime, he had 44 years in the Commonwealth Bank. Could I ask for cause Van Eyck to come forward, please? Yeah. Cool. Congratulations. The, uh, the words on the certificate are very similar to what I just read out before. And it said, uh, yeah, congratulations on observing the obligations that were placed upon you at the time of your admission and for the manner in which you have adhered to the rules and principles of the order. So, congratulations, Court. Cool. I want to thank 
photographer had a certificate. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Show the photographer had a certificate. Ready? And. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Yeah, a lapel pin and a staff here, Richard. Thank you. Welcome, of course. I'll hold that for you while you. Thanks very much. A lifespan. I feel a bit tired over hearing all that. <laughs> um, initiation ceremony was at um, Bacchus Marsh. In those days, it was a little town when the the, the main highway went through the centre of town. It did indeed. Mm. It's interesting to hear Tom, it's Tom was the first one. Yes, it? Tom. How he described it, it's, it, it was identical to the way we had it at Beckers Marsh. The, the sinister movement of having the, the room darkened and the, sinister, the, uh, the candle in there and that little mask there, it was just the same story. Yeah. So it's quite frightening, really and secretive, but uh, things have changed over the years, thank God for that. And, uh, we're now quite open and also friends with the Masons. Oh, that's right. Yeah. In interesting, I'll just go back and uh, say that I'm a convert back in 1971 and I'd had to actually been approached to Paris Council, but we married in 68 and lived in Mel Melton. And then in about 1970, I went to an AGM at the parish and uh, they, they told me, they said, would you like to join the Knights? I said, the Knights? Anyway, I left Margaret and, uh, with the principal's wife the local school and uh, I went back and saw them after and I said, what's this night? She says, oh, she said, oh, we can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, that was my introduction to it. Anyway, I became a convert in 1971, so later on the year they, they asked me again, so I thought we'd join up and have never regretted it since. But there's been some interesting times, of course, having been in a number of different places. So, a highlight of your times in the nights? The highlight, I think, the, the fact that we are at Winston Hills, which covered the Hills District, in the, just north of Parramatta. And we, I was, we were there for more of, most of the 40 years we were there. But we had a garage sale each year. And of course, it took about two months to prepare and a month thereafter to clear up and all that sort of thing. And we raised, on many a year, between four and five thousand dollars. With all the rubbish left in our house. <laughs> and Mark had always been pleased to have it. <laughs> but uh, the, the proceeds used to go, we used to share them, 50% would go to the Fred Hollows Foundation, which would be, uh, you know, blind, the eyes for the blind, and it was brilliant, you know. And the other half would go to a seminarian crowd over in Tanzania, which we supported, where they got water, water put on the seminary and stuff like this, and we raised it in excess of $20,000. So that, that, that certainly was the highlight to me. Oh, good. Thanks, Tom. And what have you received back? from your time with the Knights. I think it's friendship. When, it, when you come, come here, and I don't know any of you, that you can come in here and still feel like you're with friends. And, and you can talk, like each month we used to have a meeting in Sydney, and, uh, and we, we'd be open in terms of what you could discuss there. And you wouldn't knock your, your brothers as you went through. And it was really wonderful. And that friendship is still even here, when you, when you can talk to one another. I think friendship and talking about common objectives and faith. I think you're very well. Very good. Well, you're amongst friends here today for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Another out of towner, Tony Fitzpatrick. Newey Meadows, Newey Meadows, it's called. I've been to this young gentleman's house as I'm somewhat related to him somewhere down the track. But uh, it's good to see Tony here today. Um, product of the Morris Brothers in Benio, is that right? No, Vincentian. Vincentian, oh, got it wrong. Tracy, the campo. Oh! Well done. There's only four. That's very nice. Congratulations, and uh, well done for the 50 year club. Good luck. Thank you. I'll take that off your hands for a second. Okay, thinking about the times when you're initiated, 
Can you remember that ceremony, Tony? Oh, it's uh, this, this shock. Take your time. I got cooked bread. Um, I was in, um, initiated at Casamay, and um, George McManus. He was was just an ordinary club ceremony, but um, we had the the darkened room and uh, the light came on and everyone flocked around and congratulated me. So it wasn't a huge a night, not like the course spoke of, but uh, I was sort of coming here on the cheek because uh, I was only in it three or four years and um, the Malden formed a Lions Club and there was 30 of us charter members and we're all young, young with families. And um, I thought, oh, I can spread faith better by being with them. So I jumped ship, you might say, and uh, I enjoyed a lot of good times with them, with the, with the Lions Club. But um, going back to that night, I'd lost my father uh, that year that I joined and uh, there was two good farmers there and they, they befriend, befriended me and um, I'm very thankful for that guidance that they gave and they're both deceased now but they're uh, no, fine men. So I won. I always could get on the phone and say, at night time you didn't have mobiles, and you'd ring them at any time. And say, oh, what do you think? Well, you know, and they'd give you their experiences and guidance, and they'll like your rock in the farm. And um, they're uh, big farmers now, all there. Got a big property now, the boys, and um, so. And getting back to the club in my day, we had a parish priest called Father. Um, um, geez, I had his name. No, O'Halloran. Halloran. No, before him. Before him. Leo O'Halloran. No, before him. Daily. Daily? Oh. No. Keep thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he, were, he, were, he, he, my father did one year in the seminary with him. And um, Dad, Dad spoke how clever he was. And he was a very gentle fellow. Fella. Shit, my nerves are carrying on. Anyway, um, he built a new school, St Mary's, and there was a lot of bricks to clean up and tidying up and patching up and things weren't done properly and we put in a lot of time there for him. Um, can't quite get his name. He's a brilliant person. So um, those two, uh, the chap that initiated me, McManus, he was a good, well they're all good men you go, but George was wonderful and then uh, the priest, he'd always come to the meeting and say I need a hand up at the school, we want to get it ready for opening and so we put a heck of a lot of work in there, but um, I uh, went over to the lines and uh, then I got in council and so um, I've had a fair go, and um, anyway, thanks very much. So, All right. good on you, Tommy. All right. There is an apology today from John Ritchie.
he was unable to be here to receive his 50 year service award but last but not least Pat Godfrey oh, Pleasure to, uh, to present you with this very treasured award. Thanks, Tom. Oh, Pam, 50 years in the nights. Yes, um, well, uh, I'm a bit like a lot of others, actually. I de I've never heard of the nights. Right. And in fact, uh, my father in law who had just moved to Kyoto and he said, it's a branch of the Knights here. And I said, no. But anyway, next thing I was uh, knocked on the door and I had an invitation. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, we were, uh, Kyoto was close with uh, Rochester and the Duke of all Augustinian parishes. And so we had close relations with the Knights in uh, Rochester and the Duke. And uh, I recall uh, the, uh, the night that we, uh, had our inauguration, the, uh, uh, but it was nothing like the sinister. <laughs> that had gone past apparently because uh, it was all open and, yep. and there was no spooks or, or lights turned off or anything actually. Uh, I, uh, one of the people at the Chuka, the chairman of the Chuka at the time, we talked about uh, uh, Howard Briggs before, it was his yep. father actually, Mick, Mick Briggs, who was the chairman around that time and uh, Mick would uh, pull a chair out from the wall and stand on it and make sure everyone heard what he was, <laughs> what he was saying, but he was very uh, astute in what he said, so right. yeah, a good night. Okay, um, highlights of your time in the order? Well, there were lots of highlights and uh, I sp spent 40 years of my uh, time in the, in the order in Kyabra where I, I'd held every office in the branch over that time, um, including chairman and, and uh, but not anything to do with state. But uh, uh, there were lots of things that we did, including building a church in Papua New Guinea for a, a local priest. The, uh, <coughs> uh, but the, one of the highlights was just the uh, membership of the Bendigo uh, Southern Cross Golfing Club and uh, uh, myself and a good friend in the order, Brian Turnbull, used to come across the Bendigo every every month and play and then we'd play in the uh, the annual tournament down at, uh, at Horsham. Uh, that, that were good memorable occasions and Fitzy was always uh, a leader of the pack down there and it was always a good Good week, long weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what have you received back from that time in the months? Well, like everyone else, it's been the friendship, very good friendship, and yep. uh, 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 good. Uh, uh, I've always found that uh, uh, having friends who are Catholics to be the best friends that you you could ever have, because uh, they all have a common sort of interest. Yeah, yeah, that's been my name. Okay, well thank you very much. Good well done well. again, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to get a photo, please? <laughs> State Chairman, that is all the presentations we've got today. We've got the apology from uh, John Ritchie there and we'll deliver it to him if he's unable to come to one of our meetings. But uh, that concludes that part of it. Would you like to say a few words, please? Thank you. Yeah, brother District Chairman and uh, brother Branch Chairman, fellow brothers, Father and uh, ladies, I just uh, twisted uh, brother's arm to uh, 
to have a bit of a promo before I left. Uh, but I can't do that uh, without first thanking you very warmly for inviting me here today. It's uh, the first occasion that uh, in, as Chairman of the State to, to come to Bendigo. Um, I used to come here from work, for work, uh, at one stage in my career. Uh, but it's been a long time and I'm more than pleased to be able to meet, to meet everybody today. Thank you again. Uh, but before I go, there's just a couple of events uh, down in Melbourne that I want to encourage you to, uh, to participate in. In October, we have an annual state conference and uh, there'll be some people like uh, Tom and uh, Kevin who will be uh, present in the hall. But uh, our secretary has also organised a big Zoom screen so anybody that's uh, familiar with linking on a teleconference are welcome to join us from your home. Please think about it uh, and get your, uh, your branch chairman to, uh, to register your name and your uh, uh, email link and join us for a, uh, a wonderful uh, and in informative afternoon. And there's one other event uh, which is the celebration of St. Patrick's Cathedral, 125 years since its uh, consecration. And that's a, uh, an afternoon mass uh, to which the Knights have been invited on Thursday, the 27th of October. And uh, that will be just one of a very few opportunities in recent years where the Knights can actually uh, be represented and show uh, our Archbishop in St Patrick's Cathedral that we, we still exist. I mean, he knows we exist because uh, he supports us with the Priest Support and Education Fund and uh, I've met him on a number of occasions, but this is one public event where uh, he would appreciate our support. So anybody who is uh, free to drive down to Melbourne on that Thursday afternoon, please come and uh, join us in the Cathedral for Mass. And thank you all, and uh, please travel safely, and uh, God bless all. Thank you, sir. Chairman. So far, the establishment haven't kicked us out yet, but we're on very short time. So, um, we're up to the thank yous. To those priests that are still here, Father, you're still here. Have you got the sermon prepared for tonight, have you, or not? Yes. You've got the sermon right, okay. Come in, Louis. But, uh, any other priests still here? Father Fewings is gone. I'll tell you a story about Monsignor Marriott, you know, sometimes I can flex the truth a little bit, but uh, I think he's gone to bless Collingwood. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, a dedicated Collingwood follower and he had to leave early and uh, I did make a comment to him and he, he didn't answer me truthfully, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, I think he's gone to bless Collingwood, but uh, being a Geelong supporter, we're there, people. We're there. We've, we've got two more games to win. All <laughs> All right. Um, now, to conclude the afternoon, thank the priest and thanks to our chaplain for being here for the, the whole day. Would you like to say a few words, Father? He's, he's very good at it. <laughs> Even if you give us a blessing, Father, because your blessing is better than perhaps, uh, perhaps, if, perhaps, perhaps if we could just say uh, the grace after meals together, thanking our Lord for this beautiful day, what it's been, and for the food, as it was mentioned at the start of the meal, we're so blessed to have it in the midst of a lot of famine in Africa. And um, I've only been a knight myself for about seven years. Dad was a knight for 50 years. 
and I didn't know much about it, but it's, they do wonderful work and they always support us in our role as priests, so thank you for, for that. But let's say a prayer of thanks in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We give thee thanks, O Almighty God, for all thy benefits, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father. All right. Um, to the team that put today together, Colin, the Kevins, Brian and Travis, um, thank you very much. To Andrew Vaccaro here, who's got us all on video and uh, we'll see some of those results and we'll let you know how to log on to uh, a website to get it. To the widows, lovely to see you all here today. To the visitors from far and wide, great that you made the effort to come to Bendigo, travel home safely. A reminder again about the Master of Deceased Members to be held in November. We'll certainly put some dates out in the bulletins, etc. But um, I hope you've all had a wonderful day. I know that um, Kevin has uh, put a lot of work into here with the team and today I think has uh, been successful. Thank you very much. And to all those people, you're always welcome at our meetings. There's a few people looking at the slides here. Dave Bush in the middle there. Ronnie Mason. I've got it on long pools, haven't I? There's a young man in the crowd here today. You're still young, aren't you, Tom? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to the previous Bishop of Melbourne, Archbishop, sorry. Father Fewings. They're great occasions down here at Moody Valley Race Course where they have them. And we recently were down there and uh, it was a great evening. Oh, something like that. Travis's brother on the left here. Um, he's a great supporter of pre-support fund. The auctioneer, he comes dressed for it. He wasn't here this year, I'm not too sure why, but uh, Caravan is his surname. Can't think Can of it. Canavan. 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 Canavan, is it all? <laughs> of course, our young yeah, a young priest, Jackson Saunders, is a good man. Here he is giving the, his first sermon at the in the cathedral, and here he was blessing us nights afterwards. Uh, we presented him with a a, um, a sick kit to um, for him to use, and he's he told me just recently that he's used quite often. It's that young man in the back there in the white shirt, young Tom. We're there preparing the barbecue for Jackson's ordination. Information day, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The people up the river, who could we forget Joe Taylor? Kevin there. Um, yes, saying our prayers out there on the river. Just a wonderful place. And all, all these good people are in heaven. <coughs> Huey, Lynn Fitzgerald, Ian Bell. Give me, you know, young Huey again. Piscatorial retreats, I, we really haven't got time, Peter Tumsey, I'm sorry. But um, 
Peter Tunsey puts a lot of work in the piscatorial retreats and today he was going to give us a, but uh, I realise that we're out of time. Um, there's a lovely cod there. I'll leave those pictures just tick over. Thank you very much for coming. All the best. Travel safely home. May you all...